everyone, so we are here in the statuesque events office. It's super exciting because the last time I was here with Delora and Arinze was the first time we met. Uh, they came for an open house last winter. Um, they came for one of our open houses and, you know, explained that they were planning a Nigerian-American wedding and we had a lot of fun. Yeah, they were very decisive and really big on supporting black and women-owned businesses, which I thought was beautiful and made the whole journey really awesome. So I have a few questions for y'all. But before we get into that, how are you guys feeling? How has month one been? It's been fantastic. Uh, yeah. Lots of, great. lots of naps. <laughs> yeah, the naps are fantastic. Lots of Lots of Free movies, weekends. Netflix. Yeah, Netflix some chilling chill. as well. Yeah. <laughs> I like the chilling. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, you miss out on some of the chilling when you run around doing like wine tastings and, and cupcake tastings. And yes. Trying to find dresses to fit. Yes, you spend a lot of your weekends in backup dresses. You spend a lot of your weekends doing wedding planning things, and it was just like, now we're married and we get to enjoy each other. Yeah. And that's fantastic. And the in-laws come. All right, guys, this is where their ceremony is going to be. <laughs> it was freezing. For the last time That's how engagement shoots always are. Shoot. Yeah. Were you cold, Irene? Day? You were fully covered. <laughs> I like, my shoulders out, and it was like 830, so it was like 60 degrees, maybe. When did you take them? April 27th? It was April, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was still pretty warm. And oh, Laura is learning everything there is to know She's about weddings. She's teaching me everything. That's the expert right here. So now the Laura knows everything. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, everybody. This is everybody in the elevator. Danielle on flowers. Oh no, that's the Laura. That's Danielle. This is Mary with the arts. Hey. And then we have Katie W Catering. We hi. Also from Bizarre. And then we have the groom. Our very happy groom. There we go. There we go. And I think they left before us because unfortunately I had to go all the way from Rockville to north of Baltimore yeah. to get to the taste and Baltimore yeah. County. Yeah, so it was yeah. a far drive. So I think like, I'm not waiting, I'm gonna go. Um, and leaves us and Somehow, Delora and I got to the tasting before our mm -hmm. and we're like, we're ready to eat. You want to know why we got there beforehand? <laughs> so, guys, we stopped for a tasting. Delora, you stopped for some tacos. Delora's a little upset. Arinze, why did you get? Why are you late to the tasting? Because there was a taco truck, an empty taco truck on the corner. We ain't get no tax. Me and Faye ain't get no. I left, I left before y'all. It took a long time. You could have brought us a little taco wrapped up. No, we won't cancel your jollof. <laughs> the jollof is canceled. It's canceled. Because when they stopped and got tacos, <laughs> it's, it's so we are hungry. Never pass up authentic. I'm like, what happened? Oh, I saw a taco truck. Did you bring me a face tacos? No, because you were at the tasting. <laughs> what the? You're fine. No, I can use a taco. Tell her I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I like to eat. I'm the taco guys. I'm not. I'm not gonna be shamed into. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm stopping for delicious tacos. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Delora, you didn't have any bridesmaids, which when you first said it, I was like, okay, okay. But on the wedding day, there were some ladies. 
How did you decide who made the cut? Who got to come up and hang out with you as you got ready? Yeah. Yeah, so no bridesmaids, and I was very, I was very uh, strong in that opinion from the, from the jump. Um, there were um, some folks trying to persuade me to do something else, but I was like, nope, I'm not gonna have any bridesmaids, not gonna have a bridal party, not gonna have any groomsmen. So on the day or a few weeks before the wedding, you know, um, one or two of my friends started to ask, well, what are you going to be doing, you know, while you're in the room? I said, well, I had a timeline. You had given me a timeline. So I had an idea of what needed to happen that day. And I knew I would need help getting into my dress. Like, it, it was a big dress. So I had one or two friends that were like, well, I'd like to come. I'd like to come and help you. And I was like, sure, you can absolutely come. And so they were actually staying in the hotel as well, um, which made it a lot easier so they weren't, like, coming from far away or anything like that. So they just, you know, they just showed up and you need any coffee, you need any breakfast, or we're gonna, you know, we, they just kind of sat around and helped me out, um, which was great, you know, because my nerves were going and they were chit-chatting with me and um, it was really a very quiet, peaceful morning. Um, you know, it, I mean, of course, during some time during the day we were rushing, um, just trying to stay on schedule, but it was nice just having like a few people there, you know, light a candle, have some music on, drink some champagne. It was great. So they self-selected. At the hotel with Delora. It's yeah. in the mirror. Oh. <laughs> Right here. Yeah, so yes. she's explaining to me all the special details she has at the wedding. Yes. It's amazing because she made some of it and, and some of it is stuff that she kept. And on this charm are all of my loved ones who are not here. And this is my mom and my dad. And my grandma and my cousin. Who is my brother cousin. Yeah. So Robin, Donnie, Maurice, and Thomas. And so they will be with me when I walk down the aisle. Yes. And these beads are Buddhist prayer beads. Yeah. My mother is Buddhist. Yeah. And while I never converted to Buddhism, I honor her by keeping these beads. Mm -hmm. And I'll have them with me today. Nice. How do you normally use the beads? So you, when you go to chant, um, you place them in around your middle finger here. Mm -hmm. And you place them here and you place your hands together for prayer. And when you chant, you sometimes people rub them, mm -hmm. you know, which is in temple interesting because you can hear all yeah. the, you know, all the deeds going. But um, you hold them as you pray. Mm -hmm. And uh, this gave my mother great strength. And I'm not Buddhist, but, you know, um, I appreciate the faith mm -hmm. for what it gave to my mom. Yeah. It gave her peace. Yeah. So, yeah. That's awesome. Love it. A hundred percent done. Yes. Oh he my so god. Ready. So he really was like, and he sent a whole meme too. Oh, oh my that god. Was my meme. Oh, that was I your meme. I, was ready. I cannot. <laughs> yes, th that is the dance you do when your checklist is done, <laughs> and it's the wedding day. I cannot. This is from my groom. All right, thanks. Should I read it or? Oh, okay. Um, sometimes love happens when you aren't expecting it. I didn't realize how much our love would grow. That the attraction that first brought us together would reach beyond passion to the comfort of knowing I have someone very special. Someone who is not only my lover, but my close friend. When I met you, I had no idea where our relationship would lead us, how beautiful you would make my world. But now I know, without a doubt, the luckiest day of my life was the day I met you. And this is his writing. Delora, today is the day we married. Can you believe it? We've both grown tremendously over the past few years. And I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you by my side. You're beautiful, talented, brilliant, loving, and supportive. You're the most important woman in my life, and I pray that I never let you forget it. Forget it. In times of joy, Look back fondly on this card and this day. In times of anger, hurt, jealousy, and pain, look back fondly on this card and know that I will always love you. Our bond will last a lifetime, and I look forward to the countless blessings ahead. 
your fine ass future husband <laughs> a red day album in the couch <laughs> <laughs> setting up the ceremony. Um, I came to drop off the broom and petals for people to throw. As you can see, we're still setting up. Still setting up. Yeah, so these are the chairs. Um, this is before getting the art <laughs> right. And here we have Daniela. Hi. Our floors for today. <laughs> so excited for everything. <laughs> yep. so and this is our broom. Made with love. <laughs> Almost time for the first look. I'm here pulling stuff on a push cart. <laughs> Before we get there. Daddy! That's my brother! Hi! Yeah, I'm going over there. Those so earrings are just like pow, 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 pow. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys have been practicing your poses. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is happening? I'm, I'm giving them what they want. <laughs> the ceremony really quick then I'll start calling the list yep
Laura got her triangles. It was the first time I ever saw a, a giant triangle at a wedding, and it was, it had a specific meaning behind it. Why it the triangles are important. So, I had never seen it either. Mm -hmm. I saw it on Pinterest, actually. And I, I really kind of gravitated to it because I wanted geometric shapes. But that's so nice because I'm a Delta. And also, when I used to think about, when I was dating, I would always kind of use this analogy of the pinnacle, right? Mm -hmm. And so you have two people, and sometimes this person is here and they don't know, you know, how they feel about the other person. Sometimes the person's here, but it's like when you find that both people are here together at the same time, that's where the magic happens. It's like that's when you have two people that are at the same place, ready to take the same journey, ready to move forward. And so for me, I was like, oh, we gotta have this like as a backdrop. I didn't wanna have an arch, I just wanna do something different. Love is patience. Love is time. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. The battle is to be everything to you that you want to be. Birdcage, lipstick. Mrs. Dora Milaje. Yeah. I was really, really impressed with the way the blue top turned out. What I envisioned in a Rinse kind of delegated or allowed me to kind of take a so what I envisioned was very modern, very clean lines. The colors were ivory, gold, and sage. With, and sage just really being some of the green accents on the flowers. Um, and lots of geometric shapes um, because we've been married in a community art space, an art gallery, and we wanted to keep it very modern. And I think that all came together. And I think part of your design and Daniela's boutique's design we have went to see other florists and other um, places where we could do furniture rental and they didn't quite have what I was looking for and, and when I went to talk with um, Daniela's boutique and Daniela it was like she had that's a lot of it on hand so it wasn't like I was just kind of saying oh really abstractly this is what I would like to see she's like oh like this I have these and this is these are some of the geometric candle holders that we could put these there you know so to see it all come together it was just really like a, it was like a victory a relief and it was just it was really great to see it because you go on all of these trips and errands to look at this one piece of one thing that will come together at the reception like you might go somewhere to look at flowers and then to another place to look at tablecloths and another place to look at chairs and in your mind's eye you're like okay this is what it should look like but seeing it all come together all at once everything present all of the details all of the things that you have been kind of pouring over for weeks and for months it's a tremendous relief and it's a tremendous victory it's just really great to see it so it's like whew. okay three two one <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much.
challenge. That's US convinced right here. The real champion. The brains behind the top race. Thank you so much. Thank All you. Those, we have KDW catering that's going to have a food together for us. God that the evil people all over the world without limits. The God that guides immigrants. Weird. 
And so we were actually in um, in my room uh, the, the eve of the wedding because um, Damore had gone on to the, to the hotel and um, we were just playing it over and over again trying to get the right? Because you look on Instagram and all of the awesome Nigerian weddings feature like a crowd of groomsmen cheering on the groom as he nails the kick. And I wanted that moment. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> oh. I didn't have a critical mass of Nigerians hip to uh, Zanku or Burna Boy. Or so the I kick. came in. Or the kick. Or the kick. <laughs> Most importantly, the kick. So I came in uh, to an empty dance floor. Everybody was looking at me They're like, oh, this is cool. He's got an outfit change. So, like, he's got, he's got a cool stick with him and all that other stuff. <laughs> Down. And 
So, no, and then you have a couple black couples springing in there. So you know they're getting business from, from everybody. They don't have that barrier. It's an invisible barrier, but it's real. And it creates a ceiling and it stops them from, those businesses from scaling. So it's very important that, you know, you take a sledgehammer to that glass ceiling and you say, look at what a great job Statue Advance did. This is incredible. Patronize.